The undergraduate studies that can be taken for this career pathway are fields in environmental science and biology. Some possible careers are environmental engineer, environmental consultant, marine biologist, nature conservation officer, and so on. A scientist who is well known for contributing to this field of science is David Suzuki, who was actually born in Vancouver, British Columbia. He's actually currently retired, but he was the founder of David Suzuki Foundation, which is an NGO that focuses on climate change and clean energy sustainability, as well as protecting oceans from oil spills and other issues. He was also the, co the co-founder of Quirks and Quirks, a radio series, and worked on the CBC TV series, The Nature of Things, where most of us actually know him from as he offers informative views of the state of the world and how to make it a better place. Now let's look at the research published. He did do research in genetics where he focused on fruit flies and noticed that many principles of modern genetics actually came from the physical and sex linkage on the chromosomes of fl flies. He also made groundbreaking work in the genetic engineering of fruit flies by breeding it in hot weather. He also studied mutations caused by changes in temperature. He also used his research to advocate for the environment. He did this by providing research and information on the David Suzuki Foundation site to work towards environment conservation. He also used his research to write and co-write papers and books about biodiversity and genetics, as well as solutions towards global warming. David Suzuki also did research on how to clean up the, the oceans from spills and plastics, and now that he's retired, the foundation is still continuing his work and research. Across Canada, a movement is growing because of David Suzuki's impact. As you can see, these are all projects that David Suzuki and his foundation have started, and this is just the beginning. Through his and the foundation's work, they are currently working on advancing sustainable transportation, advancing renewable energy and nature-based infrastructure, and to find a way for cleaner air. They are also implementing strategies to protect animals at risk and helping fragile marine animals recover. The foundation is also still working on enforcing a bill of rights that will ensure a right to a healthy environment for everyone. So how is their work related to science or to biology? It takes your analytical skills practice throughout your science education and applies it towards new ways of thinking. It uses the interest of ecology and the study of organisms and their interaction with the environment to improve ways of life. Maybe even go into engineering to design new products that could be more beneficial to, towards the environment. It also touches upon sustainability, which is another undergraduate study that can be taken to get into this line of work, which develops ideas on how to use resources more efficiently. Educational path taken. David Suzuki received his undergraduate Bachelor of Arts degree in biology at Amherst College in Massachusetts, U US in 1958. He then received his PhD in zoology at University of Chicago and then later became a genesis in 1961. He then became an assistant professor in genetics at University of Alberta from 1962 to 1963. He then taught in the genetics department at UBC until t retirement in 2001. The things you see David Suzuki and his team do are just a fragment of what you can do, but here's a recap of what you actually do on the job. As an environmental scientist or engineer, you can use principles of engineering, biology, chemistry, and even soil science to develop new solutions for environmental problems. You can also go into research and be involved with improving public health and climate. It is also a typical government job to make sure regulations are met for. As you can see, this is an office or lab job, but there is also field work involved. A lot of people say David Suzuki wasted his brains by hosting a television show, but as a kid, I watched the show all the time, including Green Nine Science, but I don't think it was a waste of his talent. 
He taught me that it's not just important to do things that are beneficial for humans or just for animals, but for all of us because we coexist on the same planet. It's important to not just think about finding sustainable life on Mars, for example, so that we can trash this planet because it's already decaying, but to actually make a difference and give back to Mother Nature since she has already provided so much for us. But all in all, the most exciting part about this job is to be able to go outside, to breathe, and actually enjoy the beauty of nature, and also genuinely try to make the world a better place for all of us. Even according to David Suzuki, to find ways for society to live in balance with the natural world that does sustain us.